The, well, this all started with me buying a book at a car boot sale in Lewis. It was a, one of those glossy guides that you buy waiting to go into the Vatican. And I discovered the, the Italian, the art of the Italian Renaissance. That's essentially what it was. When you look at Renaissance paintings, Renaissance houses of that era, when you think that this is, what, over 500 years ago, they were absolutely astonishing places to walk into. And I just thought, I wonder if I could emulate in a small way some of the, some of the stuff in, you know, in this council house. I started in 203, and the first few abortive attempts had to be painted out and uh, painted again. But I, I seemed to eventually get the hang of it. But um, I'd never had any art lessons before. The last art school I ever went to was probably primary school. Oh, it's minimal. The costs are basically minimal. At that time, I was decorating as a, as a profession in other people's houses. And you always get paint left over. So uh, obviously, in, in the bigger areas, like blue ceilings, I'm probably have to buy a pot of paint. But the rest are, are just acrylic, just water-based tubes. I'm essentially running out of ceilings in, in this house. I've one more ceiling, uh, which is in an anteroom out the back. Uh, but I suppose now I'm concentrating painting on canvases. OK, my, my wife Linda has been really very good and offered me uh, encouragement, really. There, there did come a time when I had to say to her, look, what do you think, you know? Is, is it turning into a dog's breakfast or, or what? Because there was no official game plan. There was a bit upstairs, there was a bit downstairs. Uh, and I did, I did eventually get to a point where I thought it's got to look a bit more coherent, which is hopefully what it does now. Uh, my children are so blasé about it, they go, oh, don't go on about it, <laughs> as children do. But um, this being a council house, we get a lot of uh, council workmen in. They come to do the boiler or they come to do this. And they always do the tour. And I'm always blown away with uh, people like that because they're absolutely astonished. They're astonished by it, which, uh, which cheers me up enormously.